TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. And don't forget, twitch.com is where you can catch all the lives, previous lives, and future lives. The username's right at the bottom of the screen. We also got Patreon. We post five days a week, man. Let's get into this, man. This is Wife Swap UK. Hornby's, Hornby's versus Burners? Season 11, episode four. This is, this is they be random, the episodes, honestly. I just be, whatever's there is what I watch. Simple as that. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Self-confessed wag wannabe Andrea Hornby lives in Oldham in a three-bedroom sem- Wait, what wannabe? Self-confessed wag wannabe Andrea Hornby lives in Oldham in a three-bedroom semi with her plumbing business manager okay. husband, Steve. <laughs> they have a baby daughter, Talia. And then there's Abby, 11, and Jake, 7. Andrea's children from two pre- 11 putting on eyeliner? I can't, I can't agree with it. I don't... Previous relationships. For 34 year old Andrea, looking good is a full time occupation for one person only, Steve. It's very, very important to me to look nice to my husband because there's always a chance that your husband may start looking elsewhere. So she can devote every spare moment to her man, there's a 7 pm curfew on the kids. They won't come to me because they keep kissing in bed. If you devote your life to your children and neglect your husband when your kids are 15, 16, 17, they're gonna leave home and what you're left with. In Lewisham South, not gonna lie, she got the plot correct. <laughs> Salute, ma'am. Salute. Biblically, you put your husband first. You put God first, then your husband first, then your kids, then your parents. <laughs> or your, you know what I'm saying? For that exact reason that she just said, when they turn 17, they gone. And they gonna put their wife first too. London, working mum, veterinary nurse so assistant, Kathy Burner, 30, yeah. is the breadwinner. Her husband, Darren, 27, is a stay-at-home dad to their nine- Oh my God. Stay-at-home dad? Month old son, Kurt, and Nadine, Kathy's 10-year-old daughter from a previous marriage. In their rented two-bedroom maisonette, family comes first. If we're not together, then something doesn't feel right. Andrea and Kathy have agreed to swap husbands, homes and families. What happens when a wife has to cope with a husband with old-fashioned ideas? Where are you living in 1941? I could get you each other. What happens when kids have to take a back seat? <laughs> Hang on a minute, no, do not shout no, at me. No, I will. Do you fuck yourself, yeah? Go, Kurt, go yeah. fuck yourself. I will. Not bad. And how does it feel to be told that it's all your fault? It just seems that this whole thing is about me. I'm not gonna lie, that introduction music was loud. Going back to the way they were when I was 18, nice and pert. It cost just under 5,000 pound. Best five grand we ever spent. Steve, 35, is top of the pecking order in the Hornby household. I like her looking good. It makes me feel like she's... If he promote, if he... Never mind, I ain't even gonna say it, man. No, nah, I'm gonna say it. Like, if she's required, like, if he's making it a requirement, which is kind of messed up for her to look a certain way, he should be, he should spend five grand in Turkey and get some follicles put on the top of his head, shouldn't he? Or no? Devoted to me. Andrea and Steve See, would that's the thing. Like, when my wife meet me, whoever she may be, she meeting me bald. She, she ain't gonna never know about no hair. So that's what you just will ever, forever have. And that's what you will always know. See, she met you when she, you had a full head of hair. Fair is fair, sir. 
Childhood sweethearts who rediscovered each other. Me and Stephen went out when I was 17 and he was 18. It was definitely the first love. I was on Friends Reunited one day, so I emailed him and we met the next day. And that was it. Uh, we, we met every single one's time from then on. We were both with our, um, our partners at the time. I just knew I wanted Andrew. And same, I wanted you, darling. Awesome. Yeah, you got me. Thank God. <laughs> And since getting him three... I always say it, don't let your boyfriend or girlfriend stop you from finding your husband or wife. <laughs> Years ago, going. she's keeping him. Her devotion to Steve sees Andrea titivating herself for at least two hours a day and slipping in and out of three outfits in between looking after baby Talia and making the house perfect for when Abby gets home from work. Seven-year-old Jake and Abby 11 take a back seat. He's eaten alone while Talia gets hers in the lounge. And every evening at 7 o'clock sharp, they're banished to their rooms. I spend a lot of Nah, nah, I don't agree with this. Eating alone? Nah, buddy. Nah. See, me as a father, whatever my job is, I would be home by five. A minimum. Hopefully four. And at that point, I can play with my kids for a little... This is, like, what I would personally want. I play with my kids a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Eat dinner with my family. You know what I'm saying? Help my wife put the kids to bed at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock is a little bit rough for 11-year-olds. Maybe 8. 7 for the baby, for sure. Maybe earlier. 7 for the baby's cool. 8 for the rest of the family. But then, yeah, y'all, no TVs in the room for 100%. That ain't happening. Uh, no TVs in the room until you 15. Time playing in my bedroom. I'm not allowed to go and sit with my mum and Stephen because they're like there alone time. I'm definitely not one of these earth mothers. I can feel that, though. After bedtime, when you put to bed, you're done. Don't come back out. <laughs> I'm going to tend to you, though, but, like, go ahead, go to bed. I really do prefer my children when they're asleep. Yeah, I think we are a bit selfish. Our family revolves around me, Andrea and Talia, and then it's Abby and Jake now and again. When Abby and Jake are on the loop... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Abby and Jake are from a previous marriage, right? And the young baby is from this marriage. Dude, that's messed up. That's messed up that he prioritizes his... Like, they're all supposed to be one. That's messed up. That's messed up. Now and again. Oh, pretty much now. Oh, when Abby my... and Jake are on the loose, Jake, Andrew finds them a What's bit of a handful. No, the kids argue constantly. You know, gets on my nerves. It really just gets me stressed. Right, start with the crying now, Jake. You're nearly eight years old. Meal times are particularly bad. Oh, Jake has a problem with his eating. Oh, I don't like it. Why do you want to do this? I won't do anything bad. Do you want to make your sister cry? It gets too much for me and I get all stressed and get headaches. Why do you want to upset everybody? Because you've got to eat a little bit of veg. But once they're out of the way, the coast's clear for her and Steve to get up close and personal. That's our time. He's just, yeah, it's boys, yeah. I yeah, devote well. myself to him fully now, you know, he's, he's the most important thing in my life, I love him to bits. I ain't even mad at that portion. You know what I'm saying, you love your man, that's what's up. From miles away in Lewisham, 30 year old working mum of two, Three. veterinary oh, nurse God. assistant Kathy Burner, thinks appearances aren't important. I am what I am, and if people don't like it, fine. <laughs> Her main priorities in life are her job. When I care for the animals, for me, it, it gives me a sense of happiness. And above all, her family. 27-year-old husband, Darren. 10-year-old, Nadine. 27? Oh, my days. That stay-at-home husband is take beating you down, ain't it?
Oh. And baby Kurt. They've been together for four years. My favourite thing is obviously being with my family. We're all together having a giggle. If we're not together, then something doesn't feel right. Do you want to go to school? Me and my mum, we're really, like, really best, best, best friends. And stepdad Darren treats Nadine just like his own. As he should. Me and Nadine made a, a good bond. As he should. And from the start. I call him dad because he is like a dad to me, really. People that don't give up their free time for their children when they have the chance, well, what is the point in them having a family if they haven't got the time? To keep the burner household ticking over, house husband down. I do agree with what she just said, but I also agree with how the other family doing it. Like after when bedtime is established, that's bedtime. Don't you come up out that room unless it's an emergency, unless you got to pee or unless you got some like. <laughs> It's me and mom time. But every other hour of the day, like on the weekend, if we ain't no free, it's the kids and all of us. I, we locked in like that. Yeah. I do uh, most stuff around here. I look after the baby and entertain him through the day and the cleaning. Once a week, he relinquishes his domestic duties and pounds the beat as a volunteer for the British Transport Police. But pulling together and playing together as one big happy family has taken its toll. We don't necessarily focus on our relationship in, in a major league because we're, we're for the children. Once the kids and pet rescue dog Crystal are tucked up in bed, Kathy and Darren are too pooped for romance. We both tend to uh, separate doing our own thing. I wish that sometimes Darren could just surprise me with them. Um, flowers on impulse just for him to do something that I wouldn't expect. How he's supposed to get the flowers? He a stay-at-home dad with, with a small child. Both wives have agreed to swap Why husbands, homes and families without any contact. Andrea has high expectations. Somewhere with a mid up pool would be great. Yeah, I brought my swimming costume just in case. Swimming <laughs> suit? Oh dear. Oh no! I want to go home. <laughs> There's a lot of mirrors, so they both take a lot of pride in their appearance. I don't know where our clothes are. They're the baby's things. Yeah, to wear her clothes, I don't understand. One thing I have noticed, they've all got TV, so they might be spending quite a bit of time with the TV on. He's a policeman. Oh my. Voluntary. God. Yeah. Let him try and police me and see what happens. Are the children left a lot of the time to entertain themselves? That's the question that I'm having. I think, yeah, it's going to be one of the longest weeks of my life. Each wife has left a manual as a guide to the running of her house. Darren is a house husband. Oh my God. <laughs> and I'm a full time housewife. Her doctor did a great job. <laughs> and stay at home mum. I work as a veterinary nurse assistant. I do come across some hurried things, but if you don't mind vomit, poo, scans, ticks, or boss. <laughs> You'll be fine, no I won't. <laughs> my husband definitely comes first in my life. I devote a lot of time and energy to Steve. After all, your kids are going to grow up and leave home, aren't they? They are. That upsets me. But they are, though. We are very family orientated and everything is geared around the children. Well, if seeing her children was so important, she wouldn't be out at work, would she? I had Abigail and Jake from previous relationships. Now that I've got my dream man, I want more time to spend with just him. So they go to their rooms at 7 p.m. For Christ's sake, no. He took them on as part of the package, didn't he? Uh, yeah. Darren and I rarely yeah. get a couple time together. And I'm not going to lie, I feel what you're saying because... In the beginning, they said I prior. He said I prioritize. I'm the priority. Then her, then the their child together. They, he didn't even mention the other kids, and that's messed up. <laughs> yeah, the last time we had an evening out, just the two of us, was September last year. <laughs> I find it strange that you know people don't want to spend time with their husbands. Why get married in the first place? I'm a wag wannabe. I don't know what they mean by that. Oh, it's a footballer's wife wannabe. Oh my god. 
I can't believe it. I'm, I had my boobs done last year. It cost 5000 which we couldn't afford. So I decided to put it on the credit cards. I'm going to have to go for a break in a second because it just makes me want to cry. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Nadine. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Are you okay? Yeah. Good. When I came through the door, I thought she was, um, uh, she had a cold. Hello. 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 Nice Hello. to meet you. This is, uh, this is my boy, Kurt. Hello, gorgeous. This is Crystal. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Steve. Hello. This is Talia. Hi, Talia. This is Jake. Hi, yeah. Sally. Nice to meet you. So, our best Under friend. Andrea. Is... Not gonna lie, Andrea, Jake, and her daughter are gonna have the time of their life. Who's Kathy's yeah, barely met her uh, new family before it's the seventh of curfew. curfew. You're gonna need to get ready for bed, apparently. Okay. And do what you usually do. I'm ever so sorry. Yeah. It's kind of early for you, but. Oh, well, it's what you're used to. Feel a bit miffed because I'm hardly ever tired. No, 100%. 11 a.m., 11 p.m., I mean, I'm sorry, 8 p 7 p.m. is way too early for an 11 year old. She can move at least to 9. You know what I'm saying? 9, 10. I don't see the point in going to bed at that time, but. She's 11. You know, rules are rules. Once it's all quiet on the Western Front, it usually oh, yeah, seems cosy adult time. I mean, but even Kathy down to cuts straight to the when chase. Start your own business. But what if they say, went to bed, say half an hour later, and just for half an hour, you just did something live with them like a little game, or just chat about the day, and then that's it. Just say once a week. Pull me so uh, with Jake. He doesn't want to talk. You know, no. he doesn't even want to eat. He just wants to play his games. Uh, Abby, again, Do you wish that he would on. talk to you? He doesn't want to talk because. And he wants to play his games because that's what y'all let him do. That's why his behavior is like that. When you set a child in front of a TV all day and let them entertain themselves, their behavior changes. They get addicted to that game, that TV, or whatever it is that they do. Can't do that. Yeah, it'd be great. And it's probably half, half Jake's problem. I think things are fine the way they are. Of we could course. possibly do more together, but Jake's just interested in playing games. Yeah, this is a nice house and everything. They've got nice stuff and all that. But they're poor, really, when it comes to the happiness side of it. Yeah, In right. Lewisham, Andrea's yeah. made quite an impression on Darren. Well, she, she's obviously... Say it. ...well presented. <laughs> obviously, he's breastfed. Oh. So he might want to try and go for... I knew it. When he walked in, I seen his eyes go straight to her, bro, her, her cleavage. Because she's not exactly small. So, she, you know, if she cuddles him, you might. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's better. But he looking. After enduring a family supper and none of the TLC she's used to, Andrea wants to know where romance figures in Darren's life. She's more loving and romantic than I am. Right. She'll, she'll hug me. Like, That's quite, oh, you, you know, know, shocking to me that if I want to avoid... Because I'm always doing stuff like that with Stephen. I feel trapped. I don't like, okay. to, be, I don't like to be trapped. That will break my heart. Yeah. If my husband did that. How can a marriage work like that? So definitely I'll be seeing if I can maybe help him in any way. Or point him out to a good divorce lawyer. Oh. It's before six o'clock in the morning in Oldham, and Kathy oh, Berner's got to devote herself to her new husband Steve by cooking up a gourmet breakfast of eggs Benedict. It's got a bit creamy now. Mm. It's a bit on the runny side, yeah. That's it, okay. So I'll have some eggs and toast. I'm not bad, Veronica. What it was her name? A bit on the runny side, yeah. That's it, okay. She's not bad. Okay. So I'll have some eggs and toast. Well, she's not like in super baggy clothes. That's fine, oh. yeah. Eggs are a bit hard. See you next month. She's going to struggle. She's getting stressed already. Just all her eggs, so no, nah, she'll struggle. With Steve out the door, seven-year-old yeah. Jake staging a mutiny yeah, over milk. We don't normally have it in breakfast. Jake, we do. She's telling lies. Oh, don't. 
Don't argue. Right. Liar! Liar! You see, your dad will be really unhappy with me if I'm... Um... He's not my dad. Okay. Stepdad. Stepdad. His class is... He's not my dad. And, and see what I'm saying? And he and he feels the same about you. You're not his kid either. He's he's made it clear. Now see that'll make me leave you. If if, 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 a, if a woman ever did that to my kid, you got to go. Like, we ain't even got nothing to talk about. Mm -mm. <laughs> and things quickly go from bad to worse. <laughs> That's not acceptable. She's not when she's got a baby in her arms. You don't do that. That is not acceptable. Now, come on. He's upset now. Because I told him off because he kicked her and shut the baby. With mum away, Jake's missing his real dad, who he sees every weekend. He loves his dad and he, he likes living there. He hates it here. No, what are you doing? What's that? Leave it to it. You can't do anything like that, it's stressing. You've just got to leave me to it. And I think we've got quite a happy little boy here, you know what I mean? Right, do you take your back lunch and then you go to school and I'll see you later? Don't worry, we'll sort something out, yeah? Y'all better address these problems. Y'all better address this. I know it's being overlooked, clearly. We've already we already established that y'all neither one of y'all care too much. <laughs> Come on, we have to leave. In Lewisham, wannabe wag Andrea Hornby's finding it a dog's life. Brassy, nineteen ninety five. Appreciate the file. She comes across this type of woman that would mince along the street, you know, a bit like. Paris Hilton type thing, you know, with a lead like that. <laughs> <laughs> While Darren looks after the kids, instead of her usual two hour regime, Andrea's got just one minute to scrub up for duty in the vet's surgery. I'm really dreading having to go out and spend the whole day looking like this. Well, here we go, Billy. Well done. You want me to do that? Yeah. Oh, it's got blood on it. <laughs> oh my! Ooh, is that really how a dog's mouth look on it? It's, I've never really paid attention. I don't think so. Oh, I thought it'd be a lot less minging than what it is. It's I've just had to get a cotton board and stick it in a dog's mouth and clean pus out of its cleft palate. Oh, oh, oh it was disgusting. In Oldham, Jake's mutiny has rattled Kathy. It seems like Jake doesn't want to be here. It's like he counts down the days till he sees his father and that. But she hasn't got time to worry now, as she has to get down to Andrea's rules. A two-hour beauty session. Man. It's just so ridiculous. I waste my blinking time doing rubbish. For what? I'm not even going. I'm only going to school. I'm not seeing anybody. So you can see she's used to seeing this. It's kind of sad, really. Oh, I can't sit in this makeup. Then there's a regulation wardrobe check. That's just unenvironmentally friendly and unnecessary. I'm not dirty. What's the point? I feel better. I feel boiling bloody hot now. I could really do with getting out. I don't want to stay in here all day in front of a mirror. Pretending to be like mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? You know what I mean? It's just not, not right. 4 p.m. and Jake and Abby are back home, but he's in no mood for a truce. If you had to just have one little bit, <laughs> no. No, even a bit of broccoli. I just want chips and that. Why don't you like vegetables? Jackie, I've tried all of them. Jackie. Do you think I'm going to let a seven-year-old tell me what to do? No, I'm not. Hey, that mum, she's a daft duck. <laughs> you don't like your regular mum. I'm not eating it. I'm not having that. I knew it wouldn't go down too well. Just one carrot, yeah? Shut up, you little git. Jake's calling names about people, but I would expect worse. <coughs> Go on then, show me. Good lad. Good sport. Oh, it's relax, not bad, Jake. Is it? 
I think it would be nice if she ate with them. Kathy's won the vegetable war, but the battle lines are drawn. I want to go to my dad. Because I get spoiled. I don't. No cap, she should think about it. If, if, if these are the lines that y'all have drew in the sand for these two kids, Jake and his sister, you should think about letting the dad get some more time. The weekend is not enough. The weekend, he, he, the weekend is not enough for him to the, repair the damage that's going on at home. This is damaging. They're isolating. He's, they're isolating the other kids from the marriage. The other marriage. That's messed up. I won't get um, any detention or any things from this house. Have you ever, like, sat down and spoke to him about how he feels about um, the you? relationship with his dad and you? No, I don't think he's spoken to you. Either. Why? I just you know, I just wish that that um, Jake wasn't so troubled sometimes. He just seemed really troubled. Yeah, I mean, Jake being troubled has nothing to do with me. Mm. Just being his stepfather, you know. I just think he's a typical seven-year-old. Yeah, he, he's missing the plot. He ain't got no clue. He has no clue what's going on. But he's a new father. He don't know what's going on. He, he just doesn't want to, but, I mean, to, to do anything. If parents go through split-ups and that, it, it can affect them. Yeah, it can, it can affect me. I've been through it. You know, I've got a separated family. I don't think it affected me. Well, it did. It clearly did. Keep kissing in bed. She's basically saying that I should be more of a father to Jake. Um, I know what she's saying, but at the end of the day, it's like I said, Jake's, Jake's got his own father. You know, there's, there's no issue here. This dude's a twat. Oh my God. You see, he sees you every day. You're the main father. You're the main. You're the main man role model that he sees. Yes, you do have to play the father role. This is a problem in my mind. Like this guy's. This guy's man. I don't like him. I don't like that. <laughs> if you get a woman and she got kids, you take on them kids. That's a package deal, 100%. Them kids is your kids at that point. No matter how you look at it, how you want to wrap it up, how you want to how you want to describe it, how you want to trick your mind. Bro, them your kids at this point. They look at you. They looking up to you. They're mimicking you. In Lewisham, Andrew's not impressed with Kathy's life as a working mom. I definitely wouldn't sacrifice time with my baby to go and do that i mean we both want to go out to work you mean your all your kids ma'am yeah know. um i mean how does your husband feel in order for us to have the kind of lifestyle we have he feels it's his responsibility to go out and do that mm. he just seems lazy why ain't he at work there's no reason why he shouldn't go out to work you know they'd have more money it's ridiculous and family time, burner style, isn't mm. to her taste. When Stephen comes home from work, mm. it's really important time just mm. to make that connection again. <coughs> you know, because if you if you come in and you you're rushing about and you are each doing your other thing, yeah. Like I said, time. Is it me or is her head huge? Like I have a big head, so I know what a big head looks like. She got on two hair ties. <laughs> listen, just listen to me. She got her two tear ties holding that mug together. That's tough. It passes and I think you grow further and further apart. We, we do have our affectionate moments. It's just not constantly like, uh, like what they do. There's no bedtime Dead curfew alive. in the burner house. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? See, I'm quite red. Yeah. So when okay. Nadine finally goes to bed at nine o'clock, Darren can't wait to show Andrea the man he once was. You know, I used to be healthy, yeah, yeah. I used to be pretty slim. And that's who I was two years ago? Yeah, like, yeah. And it's got him reviewed. You seem depressed at the. <laughs> Viewing the works. You seem a little bit emasculated, no cap. Situation. Yeah, it's something I always wanted to do. I, I thought about it at the age of 18, but. The way he's stored, you know, to his, he's sort of like got his shoulders back, whereas you, you're more like that now. 
Did you think it's like, when I'm out there on my own, I'm a different person? Exactly, yeah. That you, especially when you put your uniform on, mm. that it gives you a reason to be proud. Yeah, being a, a house husband, uh, I suppose. It sucks. It doesn't, I know it sucks. Because we're, listen, man is meant to protect and provide. You are... Not you're not out of pocket because you're doing what you need to do right now, but it's affecting your mental. Well, you know, it has its ups and downs. It does get frustrating and pretty much boring sometimes. You know, um, in some ways, yeah, I would like to um, to go back out and to work. He needs to put his foot down a little bit. She needs to take the pants off a bit and hand them over to him because he. You know, definitely needs to wear them for a while. Agreed. Neither couple is perfect. In Oldham, after doing one of Andrea's regular gym shifts, Kathy gets home to a bit of a surprise. Jake's Jake's ringing his dad, oh, saying he's he doesn't want to be here. Uh, oh no! So he's just going to pick him up in ten minutes. You know, it was a shame it would have been nice to have got to know him. He'll be, he'll be back tomorrow. You'll see my dad, that's nice too. My dad's nice. Well, I, hope that, I hope I'll have him down with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't set you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No, but you're biological. He didn't there. surprise me, you know. Jake's sort of drama queen. You see what it's like for attention, you know. And that was it, that was his moment of attention. And I can kind of understand. Well, you don't give him any. Neither does his mom. So what do you expect Jake to be doing? Idiot. And why they got, you know, why Jake don't really want to be here. I mean, who wants to be somewhere where they're all shoved in a room all the time? Right. And next morning, she's in there, all guns blazing. I don't think that you're as bonded with the older children as, as you could be. After all, you married... Uh, Andrea, you need to treat those children as if you've adopted them. Bottom line is, you can't keep justifying things. I'm telling you how it is. That's what's happening. That's what I see. If you come in my house, you can feel the love in the house. You can hear the Dean laughing with Darren downstairs or... I know what you're saying. As outside, it probably looks that way. It does. If I was to come every night... 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. looks that way and it is that way. I take the kids out to the park every night. Nothing would be different. We've got the perfect... That's a goddamn lie. Why are you telling yourself? Are you are you delusional? Perfect family environment with each other, but we haven't got the perfect home. You've got the opposite. You've got the perfect home and all these nice things, but your family dynamics is pfft at the moment. I just don't think it's quite as simple as she thinks it is. It is. You know, if we have the time, then fair enough. But, you know, with the current situation, we just, we just don't have time for each other. It just can't be asked, really, can it? Kathy's not the only one getting something off her chest. A lot's being put on your plate, uh, and I don't yeah. think it's fair that one person does all the all the things by themselves. Yeah, ideal. I, I would prefer to go out to work. And uh, I think you, I think you'd definitely be a lot happier. Yeah, it does get pretty mundane, and this this time, so I just think, God, I've, I've got to get out. Kathy has made a lot of references to how important her family is to her yet she'll choose to go out and do a job that pays, to me, peanuts. Yeah, yeah. So you've put her first because you know she loves doing what she does. Yeah, yeah. And yet she seems to not really appreciate you. She's very bossy and dominating, you see. It's like another thing in here she's mentioned and all the fact that you're, you're not as romantic as what she'd like. Mm. You can't treat somebody like shit and then when you want a bit of, you know, Cuddle, cuddle, kissy, kissy. You can't expect them to just change the feelings like that. She's and, reaching. And yeah, yeah, I don't. Oh, I feel dead, uh, dead stressed for you. <laughs> She's talking. In Oldham, there'll be no grooming oh, and few chores as Kathy's breaking know. Andrea's rules. To be and honest, the kids you know, first. She she really needs to get her priorities right because you know this is this is wonderful. You know she's playing. So I know this is not Andrew's routine, but I can't help it. <laughs> Look at the baby. The baby like, hold on, what is what are we doing? What is this? 
Well done! She could probably spend less time on the makeup and more time playing with her, perhaps, than she does. Because you can see Tyler loves it. Um. <laughs> and Talia's invited to tea with Abby. Oh, and it's naughty, but it's got to be done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see how the little stuff matters? They all eating together. Look at this. This is a great. This is this the first time we've seen her smile? The 11 year old? Damn near the baby, too. <laughs> oh, dear. That's probably the best moment I've had since I've been here. How's it going? She's been brilliant all day. But I didn't do the makeup regime because I wanted to just play with Talia more. They had dinner together. All right. Oh, she excellent. sat there having a really good time. She was good. And it was so funny. And we were but all laughing. I don't understand why they separate them from having dinner together in the first place. I don't understand. I don't, I'm, I'm at a loss for that. Like, why? Mutiny has really given Kathy a headache. Yeah. Now, can I ask you a really big favour before you quickly go to the gym? Because cool. I actually have suffered a bit of a headache today, so I've not felt very well. Could you bath and put it to bed for me? That's all I want you to do. What time is it now? To be honest with you, I don't think she's ready for bed yet. To be honest with you, Kath, I'd, I prefer to get the gym out of the way first. Um, yeah. But to be honest, I'm really not feeling 100%. You took me to your tablets for your headache. Uh, well, there you go, you see. I'm not surprised she's, uh, you know, trying to bend the rules already, you know. Um, so many rule breaks, you know, it's a bit, a bit naughty, but... I'm sick of Andrea's routine now, and I can kind of understand. You should just suck it up until it's time for your turn. When it's your turn, you're going to get your get back, don't worry. Why? She goes and wants to live a, a life of a celebrity or whatever you call it. <laughs> And Andrea's not enjoying the realities of Lewisham life. Nadine and Darren are out for four hours at Sea Cadets, leaving her all on her lonesome. And really, Aww. she'll be here spending time with, with me. It's important for Nadine to have that social outlet. And so, unfortunately, you know, you have to sacrifice a few things. It's very, very lonely here. If I was at my house now, I'd be, you know, having tea with my husband and cuddling and stuff. So I'm going to turn this house on its head. You know, they're not going to know what's hit him when I brought all my stuff in. So when you bring your stuff in, are you going to cut it with him? This has got to be top three worst outfits that I've ever seen. But anyway. In Oldham, it's all out war. You just come in here and expect things to be just done, do you know what yeah, I mean? You're my wife. You, you, you're yeah, acting well, as if you're my wife. And, well, you know, I'm, real, I'm bound to expect, you know, if I you're know, all, but when Darren comes Andrew, home, you don't behave like that. He, he, he don't treat me like I'm... So you find that disrespectful that I expect me to on the table? We ain't living in 1941. I don't take no shit from a bloke, and I can wipe the floor of him with my mouth. But you came in, and all you was thinking about was what you wanted to do. You wasn't thinking about the fact that I wasn't feeling well. It was about what you wanted. And this, this is what you need to change with, because you're being selfish. When I looked at that manual, do you know what it, do you know what it felt like to me? Cool. That you just that both of you just wanted them to not be there. That both of you just wished that they weren't in your way so you could just be on your own. Just come home from school, feed water them like they're dogs and piss them off to bed. I mean seven o'clock is early. I think it's I think it's way too early for an for an eleven year old to be going to bed. Well you put your bloody foot down. Yeah, no, I've done. I mean I, we've had this conversation plenty of times. And my my priority, obviously, more than the kids, is Andrea. I, I admit it it might be selfish as I don't know. I do put me before Abby and Jake, I suppose. This is what I mean about sacrifice. If I'm going to sacrifice things, then I'm, I'm, I've basically got to forget about me. You know, you need... Yeah, being a man is a, <laughs> is a thankless job. It's, it comes, there's a lot of sacrifice that comes with it. Now, you can either stop acting like a B-I-T-C-H and, 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 and muscle up. Cause right now, like he's he's trying to be in this man role too, but it's like he's coming off crazy in my opinion. That me time, it's just finding the right balance. Talking about me time, me, me and time. Then... Consider it man, really. Let's put it this way: when the rule changes tomorrow, he's going to have a big rude awakening because I'm going to change everything to my specifications to what I want. It's rule change, and both wives have got plenty up their sleeves. I want to thank you for making me so welcome in your home and family. Nice. But this family needs far more structure. You need your own space and time, Nadine. 
and so do we. You will go to your room at 7 p.m. Darren, Seven you will then have a candle lit, relaxing bath, come down and have a drink and we'll treat ourselves to a facial mask. Mm. The family is a lovely family, but Steve, you really need to make the effort to be a better stepdad. The very fact that Jake doesn't want to be here speaks volumes. It's nothing to do with me not spending time it's with him. everything. You know, I mean, obviously he'd rather be with his dad. Well, okay, cool. You're well, just missing his dad. I might spend more time here because he's very fun. Hmm. Oh, bless her little heart. What's the mm, point of... Yeah, shut up now. <laughs> she told you straight up, buddy. Spend more time here because you're ready for Oh, bless her little heart. <laughs> What's the point of having a family if you don't spend as much quality time together as possible? So when you come home from work, Steve, we're all going to have tea together. Mm -hmm. From now on, Minimal. no child will be banned to their bedrooms at 7pm. If Jake comes back whilst I'm here, he can go to bed at 8 and Abby at a quarter to 9. At the weekend, we're going to spend the day together having fun at the park. Then we can come home and make a beautiful collage to remember a lovely day out. Speak to us. Darren, you and Kathy are going to park. Any couple has to work together and make an effort for each other. Darren, yeah. you need to spruce yourself up, get off your ass and get to the gym. <laughs> With the help of a personal trainer, we're going to start whipping you into shape. <laughs> You also need to be more of a man and need to feel more like a man than a woman. And I can't think of anything more. No lie, ma'am. What you've done to your husband is great that you're doing him like that, but you've also like, I don't know, something in him because he didn't have a, a, like a household and made him into a baby. <laughs> man living your work as a voluntary police constable. So you're going to do a full whole day instead of a few hours. Okay. There are gorgeous children and I feel like you should do more things with them so this family can be stronger and happier. You're going to have a day off work to see what it's like for Andrea. You will organise the kids in the morning, look after Talia all, all day and clean the house top to bottom. It's obvious that you're a loving man, so I'm hoping these solutions of mine will make a difference. It's hard thinking I'm not being a good stepfather, you know. I've never really thought of it like that. Eating together as a family, yeah, that was, that was, that'll be just brilliant, that. I know what she's trying to, trying to do. Um, I suppose she's quite right in a couple of respects about the kids. You know, as a couple, she's trying to influence me to get with Kath more in the evenings, uh, rather than just sitting there and kind of switching off and going into my own little world. Nadine could feel she's pushed out and that we don't, you know kind of don't want her around anymore mm, yeah that's usually it's funny how one family had no time allegedly and one family has all the time but spends it separately but you know what i'm saying so the the, the family with the lady with the boob jobs they have no time is what he said her husband to but this, the kids are the only ones that are sacrificing. They're sacrificing quality time with mom and stepdad so y'all can have time together. Like, all it takes is one hour a day. They're at school, whatever, cool. They get off school. You're there. Just be there. You get off work, just be there. You don't have to go immediately to the gym. The gym is 24-7. <laughs> the time where I get to spend time with my mom because she's been at work all day. So I feel a little bit excluded, yeah. For their bonding gourmet experience, Kathy's cooking up one of her favourites, spag bol. Experience, Kathy's cooking. Kathy, I don't see no seasonings on that table back there. I see onions. I see a cheese grater. Okay. Up one of her favourites, spag bol. Oh, bon appetit! I've got to point out we we do do this occasionally, you know. It is occasionally, but yeah. Christmas. Are you serious? Christmas? Yeah, I'm wind up, seriously. I'm shocked. That's a long time. But this is about the But the thing is... So what was he saying? You want me and your mum to eat off the table? Yeah. Together and whatever, yeah? Yeah. I don't understand why that is not a base concept. If you eat dinner together, that, just, that alone will bring the family... That's bonding. This is something that your mum needs to, to deal with. Under new rules, Abby also gets to stay up that little bit later. It's bedtime now anyway, so you go and get yeah. a wash. 
I want to spend time with my mum and I want to spend time with Steve as well and staying up a little bit late just had a little bit of help. You know, I did actually think of, yeah, we could actually fix something here, family-wise. It's really nice having people eating with me. I didn't feel like a, a youngster anymore, I was just sat on my own at the table. In Lewisham, there's no time for family bonding with Andrea in charge. And it's an eat-alone tea for Nadine, then off to bed at 7 o'clock sharp. You can get changed into your gym jams yeah. and then stick your DVD on. Honey. Seven is crazy. <laughs> and it's all quiet. Going to my room at 7, I'm not really happy about because, you know, that's the only time I get to spend with my mum when she comes back in from work. With Nadine out of the way, Andrea can do what she does best. Make her man feel good. She finna get bro wet. You better calm down, Andrea. <laughs> tell you. Roger, never you are, sir. What I think of you. Yeah. It's the next three days. <laughs> I'm looking Cheers. forward to it, yeah. And the really is, if the, you know, know, the new, new, new rules are quite similar to this, then yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it. But would you like to improve things where the romance and things are concerned? I would, yeah, I would like to make the, you know, more of an effort. I think you, you, you get married and I think that that's the toughest point from then on. It, it's, it's constant work. But, you know, for what you've done around here, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. It's kind of opened my eyes a little bit, but it's just kind of knowing where to start, you know. I um, think you've just got to start small, aren't you? Just like little cuddle. If both of them implement, uh, implemented some stuff from each other's lives, they'd both be perfect. Cuddles here and there and, you know, the odd pat of the bum when she walks past and, you know, Stephen tells me all the time, just, you know, you know, you're looking really nice. He's got a really, really big heart, and I think, you know, Kathy's lucky and should stop giving him as, him as much shit as what I think she does, you know, because you carry on treating people like that and they'll just turn around and walk away. As adult time went, yeah, I think it was, I think it was very good. And at the same time, this is almost like Nadine kind of just disappeared. That's why I think Andrea sends her children up. It's like she sends them up to literally get them out of the way. In Oldham, Jake's heard about Kathy's rule changes and he's back. Just in time to see stepdad Steve swap his plunger for a pan and be a house husband for the day. For the first time in his life, Steve gets a real taste of being a hands-on dad. Jake, put your shoes on. You want Yeah. You Jake. Jake! I'm not really used to doing the school. Um, I can see why Andrew gets stressed anyway, you know. Nah, never seen house like this. And even for Steve, housework soon takes a back seat. I'd rather play with Talia all day than tidy up. I think, uh, I think this is quite special. We need to do this more often. Looking after Talia's got him thinking about... Yeah, actually being a dad is pretty cool, buddy. <laughs> Abby and Jake's routine. Every other weekend, the other dads, they're here. They go to school, they come home, tea. Bed. They've been doing this for, for so long. Same thing, same routine. If we just like turn that on its head, you know, it'll, it'll take a little refreshing change for both of them. Darren's taken to the wag lifestyle like a true it's celeb. <laughs> this is crazy. The whole headband, she's giving me KSI vibes. That's tough. <laughs> but it's not all a bed of roses. Just money. After a few rounds in the gym, the pain's outweighing the game. One more set. No, no, no see, I'm done. And that's all you've got. Well, no, it's not, but you're trying to edge me on. But at the end of the day, I've got things to do tomorrow. But, you know, I work for the police, you know? So, you know, dealing with that day in, day out, and child bloody care. Well, you've got to do, you have got to do a lot more. Yeah. 
That's understandable. <laughs> but I do things. Be a man, push yourself. In my time. So don't get edged on by bloody people. Bro is really 27. He is really out here living life as a 45 year old man. Even the way he talk and present himself is crazy. <laughs> Something's out around the tank. Fuck him, is I mean, I had to walk out because I, I, I felt like lamping him one, you know. I was just mainly just getting the gist and the idea of what Andrea does and her husband. Obviously, the guy tried to push me when I said stop, and I kind of got... Good to everywhere, yeah, but... Yeah, it was nice, nice to see him enjoy himself. In Lewisham, Darren's up with the kids, and Andrea's taking a fresh look at her life with Steve. During the week, especially because, like, he's been at work, I try and, you know, keep him away from the majority of stresses that everybody has kids' experiences. I think maybe I do shield him a little bit too much from maybe some of the harsher bits. So, yeah, I think I will be a little more relaxed where that's concerned when I go back. But Darren's feeling far from relaxed. It kind of almost feels as if I'm running a B&B here. She, she did say to get off my ass and get out to the gym, but that's all well and good. But I'm off my ass at 6.30 in the morning, running this place at home here. It almost feels as if she's she's just here for the, the glamming up. Oh, no, babe. Um, I well, basically, you know, my kids don't don't do any extracurricular activities. Um, so if you know, if we're going like that, then then she wouldn't go. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's your rules. If you really, really, really want to go, and it's going to upset you, if you don't, the last thing I want to do is do that. Do you want to just leave it for tonight? Yeah. Cool. Right. That's sorted. Okay, you? Yeah. Oh, see you later, Mr. With her rules, Andrea's Baby. back to her old ways. Your irresistible. I'm pretty pissed, really, about this good hep thing. You know, yeah, she's got the, the, the yes. bits of the wow factor. So now he mad he going to work? Of, like, wooing her man over, you know, with, the, with these luxurious baths and the meals and everything. But then when you kind of take a step back and look at the whole picture, yeah, she's not doing nothing with the children. I think they are being kind of fobbed off. There are major cracks, you know, and I think tonight may even crumble. After a difficult day on the beat, Darren's Hello. home, but Andrea doesn't get the reception yeah, she's wanting. Yeah, I'm absolutely knackered. Hiya. Yeah. Busy day? Uh, just a little bit, yeah. To be perfectly honest, I'm feeling really pissed off at the moment. He's walked in, you know, looking grumpy as friggin' hell. Are you hungry? I was Kurt bin, I was Nadine bin, and just like, get... not even mention me, you know, what sort of day have you had, how are you feeling? Just nothing, complete nothingness. I came in and again, Kurt was left to his own devices in, in the walker. And Nadine was overly keen to see me. You know, is that just me or is that how he treats his wife? You know, when my husband gets home from work, you not that I want to friggin' cuddle off him, but that's what I get off Stephen. You know, why does she have kids um, if she doesn't do much with them? Has, uh, has Nadine been watching TV all, all afternoon or? No. Because it, you know, what I'm thinking is, I mean, you don't put your kids into extra activities. Don't, don't even go there, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't. You don't. What do you mean, though, buddy? You don't. <laughs> you, you don't. I, I do not put my kids into extra activities. Yeah. It's their choice. But how? I don't force my kids to do force, anything. I'm not forcing the dean into it. Just hang on a minute. Enough with no, the attitude. No, no, no. I'm sorry, but you've given me attitude probably all week. Hang on a minute. No, do not shout no, at me. No, I will. Do not shout at me. Because I'm fucking pissed. I've had a hard right. day. I come in. Yeah, Nadine right, sat there. What, fuck you, Cut, yeah. Go, Cut, go yeah. fuck yourself. I will. Not bad. Yeah, whatever. Tell you what, you're a fucking prick. Yeah, whatever. What a complete and utter asshole. Fucking ridiculous. Kids are sitting on their fucking asses watching fucking TV. Nobody speaks to me like that. You know, I'm not I'm not used to being spoke to like that. I'm saying what I want to say. Uh, you did a two hour makeup routine. You drank wine and you watched, you flipped through a Chanel magazine. 
why the kids watch TV and walk around in a walker aimlessly all day. I'd be pretty mad too as a dad. Okay. Get an actor. Think of my fucking kids. pricks like him. Don't even think, Chris. Dang, you done bro, bro out here smoking a, a cigarette? Just wound up. Absolutely wound up. No. I still can't believe he is 27. I don't want to be in the house with somebody like that. I felt physically threatened by him then. She can't understand. I'm, I'm absolutely shattered, you know? So I mean, meant to have a go at her. It's just, you just kind of snap. Andrea refuses to stay and takes refuge in a hotel. I just wanted to oh, call a taxi so and, you know, just go home and, and run home to my husband because that's just the natural thing for me to do. But, you know, I don't want to be a quitter. I don't want to quit just when there's one more day to go. It's not just in Lewisham that Darren's coming under fire. In Oldham, Kathy's got him in her sights too. I do feel if he had a job, it would make life a lot better, yeah. The moment, it's just like, I'm just scraping by the skin of my teeth. The bottom line is he's not proactive. He just, he has excuses all the time, and it's just, to be honest, it's just lame. I want someone to look after me sometimes. With Steve shaping up to her new regime, she's beginning to see some admirable qualities. It's almost Steve would be the perfect husband from a, from a, from making the effort point of view. Steve likes to be healthy, he likes to keep fit, and he's, he's self-motivated. And I quite like that in a man, and I just wish that Darren was like that. And she wants to unburden her. So get the baby away from the door, the door open. I like that in a man, and I just wish that Darren was like that. And she wants to unburden herself to Steve. My husband is just deliberately wasting himself away, really. It sounds like Darren does what Darren Darren wants. I just wish he was a proactive man, because it would make me... It's like you're proactive. I wish he was like that. In some ways, you know, I, I do envy Andrea. And Darren is 27, supposedly. <laughs> I have a moment. Uh, I mean, my, I think that my, the problem in my house is not so much the children because the children are pretty easy. It's, um, it's, it's me and Darren that always don't agree on things. I'm quite surprised how how everything has just turned around so quickly. The whole emphasis was was on me being a bad parent, and basically. Nah, because you took dark, you took critic, you took, you took um, criticism very well, and you've made the adjustments, and you there now, <laughs> you understand. The, you know, the other side of the coin now is he's, 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 she's got a, a bad family life. It's the end of the swap, and both wives are preparing to go home. As Andrea's in a hotel, there are no goodbyes for her. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. I've enjoyed the new album and it's really, really good. It was fantastic. I've had a few ups and downs with Jake yeah. this week. But the good news is Steve clearly enjoyed spending time with the kids. Yeah. And the thing that upset me in the he manual... He spend time with the kids, so... Yeah. Yeah, he did, well, but in the manual the you said... We've, we've got to create more time. And I think if we're going to be a better family, it's probably the first step we're going to make. And I, I have, I have learnt that in this week, that I am going to spend, you know, a lot more time with the kids. All the focus is on basically us being bad parents. But there's... That's good, man. I'm glad that y'all realize that the kids, kids are what make family family, you know what I'm saying? Big turnaround. All the problems seem to be you two. Sometimes you'll, you'll, you'll go in for a, you're going for a cuddle with him and he feels mm. like that. Mm. That must be awful. I couldn't even begin to understand how that makes you feel. But should I tell you how it makes me feel? I just think, so what? I mean, if he, if he doesn't want to be with me, he knows where the fucking front door is. He can Damn. Go, yeah. can't he? I don't, you know, I can get but on would you like myself. to do things to, you know, try and 
get back what to be you honest, had. I would like it if he was romantic, if he surprised me, if he actually looked more proactive and took fucking care of himself. Well, that's another issue, the money side of it. I was getting a paid job. I don't want any particular yeah, job. Yeah, but to be honest, Darren, it's putting too much financial pressure on me to be blunt with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're wasting the, your life, basically. Yeah, but the problem is, right, what you don't understand is we live in fucking London, right? Mm. So if I go out... shout at me, No, Darren. because every time I have this discussion, right... But Darren, I need to I shout just go out. Shouldn't deserve to be shouting at I just go out and get any fucking job, yeah? It just seems that this whole thing is about me. It's not about me. It you. is. We had an unfortunate incident. We had a thing in the kitchen where... Darren just literally laid in. I think Darren is pretty lazy. I think he's pretty lazy. It's me. Oh, and Darren. I was in a corner in your no, kitchen. I was, just, I was, I was making tea. Doing? And well, he just, I, just I had to leave Cathy, frightening me to death. Darren, what is your f Well, we've seen that today already. I mean, you, you flipped already over next to nothing. Darren, you've disappointed me so much. No, no, I did apologise, though. At the end of the day, I'm still a human being. Of course, yeah. You know, and I just, you know, I just had a stressful day and uh, just snapped. I'm just saying, if you continue to not deal with the issues that you have to mm. deal with, then I'm the sort of person that wouldn't think twice about walking off. Because mm. I, I, to be honest, I've got the confidence to do that. If I, because I've deserved better. Hey. What happened? The music must be copywritten. Did it come back? Four weeks later, and in Oldham, there have been some big changes. Where the kids are concerned, the kids go to bed later. They're eight now rather than seven. I get to go on trampoline a lot. My relationship with the kids That's has definitely good. changed. Yeah, I'm, I'm helping out more. I think I've took quite a lot off angry shoulders, really. Jake's behaviour's improved. That's a W for Jake. I mean, not Jake. Well, Jake too, but her husband, I mean. Quite a lot. And he knows he can go to Stephen now than rather he come to me. I've stopped being naughty and that, and I think Mum stopped shouting. Yeah, Jake needs a bloke to talk to. He misses his dad, so... That's basically what I'm here for. I'm his daddy is. Yeah, you can step in for a second. <laughs> so... Yeah. Well, I like Steve more better because he takes us on bike riding. And I think we've come together more as a family than maybe what we did before. And the burners have quite literally moved on. They've escaped London for the rural delights of Norfolk. Basically, we, we, we knew all along that we needed to move. There's less stress here, because in London it's busy cars, but here it's nice and peaceful. <laughs> and really the country air that. has given Darren oh. a new lease of life. <laughs> if, you're, if you're depressed and cooped up, you find you don't have the motivation to do anything else. But out here, it's, it's different, you know? Because of my state of mind now, I'm looking at uh, full-time work <clears throat> as a regular officer. Uh, for the Norfolk yeah. Constabulary. And with his new joie de vivre, yeah. there's been movement on the love front. The romance. <laughs> yeah, we have Chris in the house. Oh, damn. Well, that was it, huh? Right, right. That was it. They didn't give us the whole episode, but it sounded like it was going right. They was, they was, they, what they was about to say was they was doing it again. They was humping. Tell mm. to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and go.